Hello students, let's read the problem. And it says, the graph below represents X, the number of calls made by a customer, and Y, the monthly cost the customer pays. Using information from the graph, which equation represents the monthly cost a customer pays according to the number of calls made? So, they want me to find a what? They want me to find the equation. Is that right? So, I'm supposed to look at the answer choices and see which equation matches the graph. Is that right? Because it says using the information from the graph. Okay? So, I can see the graph and I see two points given to me. And I think one of the points is very easy to find, which is the one way up here on the top. And that point would be 500. That's X value. And 100, which is my Y value, right? So I have X and Y. There's another point that is given to me right here. And luckily for me, that point is not exactly on a, a specific line that I can determine the value for it. Do you see that? Because for example, I can see that this line over here and this line over here, it jumps from zero to 20. So this has to be a 10. That's a 20. This will be a 30. Then I have 40. Then this will be 50. Then 60. Then 70. I have 80. This will be 90 and 100, right? So I can do the numbers on the intervals, right? Like I said, unluckily for us, the point that I'm pointing at you, that's between 20 and 30. We can assume that it could be a 24, 25, 26, but not for sure. So I do not want to use a number that is in the middle of two specific values, right? Now, on the x-axis, I can see that from 0 to the number 100, there's a line in between. So this is a 50. This will be 150. This will be 250. And 350. And finally, 450. It's very important that we know uh, and that we can recognize what intervals are missing and maybe write down the numbers, right? So, I don't want to use the number, like I said. I can tell that that's the y-intercept, though, because it's crossing the y-axis. Is that right? But I do not know exactly the number, so we're not going to use that point. But I can use the 500 and 100. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to find another point that is in the intersection of two whole numbers, okay? For example... How about this point that is here? That looks pretty good point, right? And that point would be 300 and 70. Okay? Can you find me another point that is in a very good location? Not this one because it's not in the intersection. How about this one here? That's also a very good point, right? It's that intersection of 100 for X and 40 for y. So whenever you have a graph, we can actually do rise over run. Is that correct? Because I'm trying to find the equation that goes with that. Okay. Now, to be more precise, if you remember, to get an equation like a, b, c, and d, that is my slope intercept form. Okay. So I have it right here. So let me show you how it looks like. So my slope intercept form is supposed to look like y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, and I'm going to write it down right here. m is my slope, and b is my y-intercept. Those are the two uh, most important things that I need. I need M and B. So I can do slope because remember slope, it can, it can be found as rise over run. 
So how about if we do that? Let's do rise over run. Okay. So I'm going to go from this point. I'm going to go up. Now, make sure that you count correctly. That's not one unit. That's actually 10. That's 20. And that will be 30 up. Okay. Be careful with that. Then I'm going to go sideways. Now, when I go to the right, remember I'm counting by 15. So that's 50, that's 100, 150, and 200 to the right. Okay, so my slope, I'm going to write it over here, which is the same as M, and we agree that that's the same as rise over run. I found it as 30 over 200. And both of them are positive because going up is positive, going to the right it's positive. Can I simplify this? It's like dividing by 10, right? I can cross out the zeros and I do get three over 20. So I can easily use the graph to find the slope. And I can uh, do from that point to the next one and it will be the same thing. Look, that's 10, 20, and 30, which is what we found earlier. This is 50, 100, 150, and 200. Okay, so we're good with the slope, right? Now, the problem now, and I'm gonna write it over here. I'm gonna write down my equation. So when I write it down, I know M can be replaced with the value that I found, because remember, we replace M and B, just those two, right? So M, it's 3 over 20 x and then the b is going to depend on uh, another factors but i can tell that b is positive because it's between 20 and 30 which are positives so i can say plus okay so if you look at the answer choices there's some that you can already cancel because they're not the same right for example letter d has 0 0.2 and this is not the slope that i'm looking for so i'm looking at these values that are next to the x okay so we'll come back to that in a minute now i need to find the y intercept okay so i'm going to write it over here find y intercept okay Okay, before I go on to my question, I'm going to make a line here just to help us divide the slope and the y-intercept, okay? So now we're ready to go. I need to find one point from the graph that I'm going to use on my equation, right? The equation that I'm going to use, of course, is the slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b, where M is the slope that I found earlier, which is right here. And uh, X and Y will be a given point. And my point that I'm going to choose is going to be 140. You can choose any point you want. It won't matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace those values on my equation. So Y is 40. M is 3 over 20. X is 100 plus B, okay? So I'm going to multiply. And when I multiply, remember, you put a 1 on the denominator for 100. So I get 300 over 20 plus B. So what I need to do next is I'm going to take away, or oh, I'm going to subtract 300 over 20. Because remember, you want to leave B by itself. So I'm going to take away and I'm going to put it on the side. 300 over 20. I know we can cross out the zeros because it's like you divide it by 100. So it's actually take away 30 over 2. Okay, so that's what I'm taking away. So the numbers are going to cancel on the right, and I'm going to end it up with B equals, and I got now 40 minus 30 over 2 right which means 40 minus 30 over 2 is a 15 
And if you take away or subtract 40 minus 15, we get 25. And that's my B. That's my Y-intercept. Okay? So now I found my Y-intercept. And, uh, and I actually have my slope already. Right? So those are the two that I need to replace on my equation, which already replaced 3 over 20. So all I need to replace now is 25. Let me write it down with the same color. Okay? So I'm going to say plus 25. Now that's my answer. Look at the answer choices and see if you can find the one that it's my answer for that. Yeah, the answer should be letter A for this one. It's exactly my question.